What a great question, right? Does the Lee neck sizing die give you better accuracy than a 243 full length resizing die? It fascinates me. I love all the small details you can get into when you're reloading. It seems like most videos I watch where they compare something, all it does is lead to more questions. Johnny's Reloading Bench seems to be famous for that. He'll do a primer test and comparison, and it basically just leads to, well, maybe each primer has a specific charge that it prefers, or maybe certain powders like certain primers. It's really interesting, and I love how infinite this becomes. That's what I really like about reloading. You're always learning if you want to. So, let's take a look at my groups that I got using neck only size 243 brass compared to new Hornady brass that's been full length resized. I'll give it away already. There's going to be a third part to this video. So let's check out the targets. Taking a look at the fired brass, comparing the Hornady brass groups to my federal brass groups, which I originally came up with this load for the federal brass. The federal brass does shoot a bit better than this Hornady does so far, but I'm not sure if that's because of case capacity and uh, it's kind of an infinite thing like I suggested. So my gun isn't shooting as well as it has before, but that doesn't mean that we didn't see a difference between neck sizing and full length resizing. Here we go. So I shot two groups with neck sized and new brass. Here are the two groups using new full length resized brass. As you can see here, shooting an 87 grain VMAX, 41 grains of hybrid 100V, a CCI number 250 Magnum large rifle primer. The group sizes that we got were 1.120 and 1.05. On this night, wind was not a factor, so left to right here was definitely not wind. And uh, this one's got a little bit of vertical dispersion and still a little bit of left to right. So this is as good as these bullets could have shot I believe, and also I did my best to shoot as consistently as possible. And between these two groups, I mean, there's a little bit less than a tenth of an inch difference between these two rounds, between these two groups. So that's telling me that they're shooting consistently, and I feel like I've been doing my part. Now, here's my neck only sized Hornady brass. It's been once fired, and then I neck sized it and I loaded it up at the same time as all my other rounds that I had loaded as well. So, it's as consistent as I could make it, and I was shooting these as consistently as I could between all these rounds. I was able to get a half inch group, three shots. The reason I'm only shooting three shots is because my Tika T3 light barrel gets hot very quickly. That's also another reason why I only shot two groups of each. But don't worry, on future trips, I'm going to continue doing this type of testing and comparison so we're going to figure out more about this as we go. And here is my second group with neck only sizing. With my particular gun, with this particular load, and this particular set of brass, it has definitely increased my accuracy with this gun. I went from 1.05 and 1.120 to 0.5 and 0.63. So we went from just outside an inch to just over half an inch. That's awesome. I really like that between the two, both new brass shot very consistently and both neck sized brass shot very consistently. That helps me understand that I'm doing my part as well as I can and that there actually is a difference in some guns. Maybe your gun prefers full length resize. We can do this forever. Maybe, maybe, maybe. On this day, neck size brass increased my accuracy. I will be doing another test. And what my next test is actually going to be is I'm going to take some once fired new brass and then I'm going to take some next size brass. I will full length resize the once fired. These are once fired and we will go shoot them against each other and see which once fired brass is better, next sized or full length resized. When I got this brass new from Hornady, it went through the full length resizer quite easily. So that tells me that it already probably been full length resized. I just wanted to make sure with a bulk bag of 100 that they were as consistent as I could make them for their first firing. So another thing I want to test is run out when resizing the cases. 
Um, so the next video will actually start off with a little bit of a reloading bit and we're going to be measuring the cases as is when they've been fired and then we're going to either neck size or full length resize and see if that makes a difference. This was suggested by loads of bacon. He suspects that the expander ball coming through the neck from the Lee full length resizing die is what causes the cases to grow significantly. So I'm also very curious to see what kind of run out we're getting. I honestly wouldn't suspect to get any run out with uh, neck size only because all it's doing is compressing the neck and even pushing back on the shoulder. Any growing that that's going to do will have already happened in the chamber, in the chamber, and by the time that we measure it here, it will already have been grown. So really, I need to measure it before I load it, go out and shoot it, see what it turns into, resize it, and remeasure it, and see what happens. So until next time, I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think of the results that I got. I hope that it's true for all guns and that this is some magical secret. It's not a secret. This is supposed to help accuracy. It just depends on the gun you have. Appreciate your time. We will talk to you guys later.